Hello everyone, today I'm giving you a quick demo of a powerful AWS exploitation tool called Paku. Paku is an open source AWS exploitation framework developed by Rhino Security Labs. It is mainly used by penetration testers and security professionals to assess the security posture of AWS environments. Think of it like a Swiss Army knife for AWS security. It lets you find misconfigurations, over permissive roles, and other potential vulnerabilities. It's important to note that Paku should only be used on environments that you have permission to test. This demo will help you understand how Paku works and how it can help you secure your cloud infrastructure. For a quick installation of Paku, you can use pip commands. So it tells me successfully installed. I'll run the next command. It's pip3 install minus u Paku. So since I have already installed, earlier it gives me no error and command is successfully executed but if you run this command on your system idly it should install the Paku now to run the Paku you should use the Paku command once uh, we run the Paku command it uh, gives me some options whether I can create a new session or I can continue my earlier session Paku uses sessions to keep track of your progress and findings as you explore an AWS environment. Each time you start Paku, you can either create a new session or resume a previous one. Sessions are stored in an SQLite database, which allows you to save your work and return to it later without losing any information. This feature is especially useful if you need to step away from a test and continue it later, as all your imported keys, run modules, and results will be preserved. To start a new session or load an existing one, simply like this, you can launch Paku and it will prompt you to create a create or select a session. This helps in managing different testing scenarios across multiple AWS accounts efficiently. So I will continue the previous session. Now it will now it give me the basic details. You can also print this details by help command. So you can go to this GitHub page to get more information about Papu and these are the basic commands and their descriptions. Now Papu operates using a modular framework. Each module performs a specific function like enumerating permissions or attempting to escalate privileges. To start using Papu, we first need to import AWS credentials so that it can access the environment we are testing. To import the credentials, there is a command called import keys. This command allows you to import keys from the AWS CLI credentials file, which is located at .aws slash credentials into your current sessions database. You can enter the name of a, a specific profile you want to import or use dash dash all to import all credentials from the file. This helps in quickly setting up the environment without manually entering credentials every time. Now the next command we can see is the list command. So the list command is the list command shows all the available modules. The modules are organized into different categories based on their purpose, such as lateral move, evade, escalate, enum, recon, and exploit. Lateral move modules focus on identifying ways to move laterally within the AWS environment. For example, VPC enum lateral movement helps in identifying potential pathways for lateral movement across VPCs. Then there is evade module. These modules are used to evade detection and avoid security monitoring tools. For instance, CloudTrail download event history allows you to download CloudTrail logs, which could help identifying gaps in logging. There is there are escalate modules which are used for privilege escalation. An example is IM PrivSec Scan, which helps identify potential ways to escalate privileges within the account. XFIN modules are designed to identify or simulate the exfiltration of data, such as S3 download bucket, which attempts to download data from the S3 buckets. Then there are few enum modules. And these are used to gather information about various AWS services. For example, 
enum user roles policies group enumerates im users roles policies and groups to understand the environment there are recon modules and these modules uh, perform unauthenticated reconnaissance such as ebs enum snapshots and auth module enumerates ebs snapshots without needing credentials there are persist modules which are used to establish a long term foothold in the environment for instance backdoor users keys can create backdoor access keys for existing users and there are of course exploit modules which can exploit specific vulnerabilities or misconfigurations such as system managers rc ec2 attempts to execute commands on ec2 instances using system manager so these categories help organize the modules making it easier to select the right tool for each stage of an assessment or attack simulation now let's see a demo so before running any module we have to ensure our access keys are set if we are not using import keys we can also use set keys to uh, set the keys and if you are not aware of the keys you can generate these keys by logging into your aws console navigating to iam creating a user with programmatic access and attaching the appropriate permissions these permissions might include access to services like ec2 s3 or im Amazon EC2 read only access for EC2 enumeration to follow the principle of least privilege. This will generate an access key ID and secret access key which you can use with Papu to authenticate. You can get the more information on this AWS page and link of this will be available in the description. After you have your credentials set up properly, we can run the Papu modules. A great starting point is EC2 enum module, which helps us understand the EC2 instances running in the environment, along with their configurations and security groups. To run the EC2 enum module, simply type run EC2 to underscore enum. And now it asks me whether I want to run this for all the reason. I will say no. And then I can specify the region in this command. Want to run for US East. So this enumerated all the EC2 instances in the environment providing important details like instances, elastic IPs, VPCs. At any point of time in Paku, you can also run who am I. And this command will basically tell you what is your current username, roles, permissions. And this is useful to ensure that the correct credentials are used and to understand the level of access provided. Next, we can try enumerating the WAV. So we type run WAV underscore enum regions US East two. And this is the result. So after you have done the scan, you can uh, next take further steps to analyze the result. So for example, once the enum permissions module is finished, you will see a list of permissions that are available to the current identity. And uh, if we see any high risk permissions like I am create user or EC2 terminate instances, we need to take action to reduce these permissions because misconfigurations like these can lead to privilege escalation or resource abuse if an attacker gain access. The key takeaway is, is that Paku gives us a clear view of what potentially exposed within the AWS account, which is a crucial thing for hardening the security. That's it for this short demo of Paku. To recap, 
Paco is a fantastic tool for auditing AWS environments by using the real-world attack scenarios. It's helpful in identifying over-permissive IAM roles, privilege escalation paths, and even potential data exfiltration risk. Thanks for watching this demo. If you have any questions about Paco or AWS security, feel free to put in the chat. Please subscribe and share this video. Thanks.